The thing I love about our local community is that there's a real togetherness and there's a great phrase where people will never see you stuck up here and I like that. I know that there's always someone there that can help and that kind of close-knit community is something that you only begin to appreciate as you get a little bit older. Best thing about living in Caithness, well, here in Dunnet I can go to the forest but then I can also go across the cliffs, walk up to Dunnet Head and um, get away from it all and I love that feeling of space, I love that feeling of being able to switch off from the world. It's a great thing to have up here, um, it's, it's just a great way to live your life. I was born and brought up in Caithness and moved away to work in the oil industry. I then travelled with my work and made the decision to move home. I love Caithness and I thought it was a brilliant place to raise our own family. I love the outdoors, I love the people, I love our family and friends that are here and that's the reason why I moved home is to be with these people and to bring our family up here. I love being able to explore Caithness and one of my favourite places to visit is PD Sands in Dunnet. It's a walk over a hill to a lovely secluded beach and on a sunny day it feels like you're abroad. You have this beautiful clear sea, the warmth of the sun and just complete and utter silence. It's just a wonderful place to be. A fun thing to do in Caithness is to explore Dunnet Forest. You've got some real nice uh, features there. We've got this lovely log cabin where you can stop and have a picnic. There's some swings for the kids um, and there's some trails through the forest which um, are really spectacular. You're able to see a lot of sunlight coming in through the trees and then see the beach at the other end. I think Dunnock Forest is a great place to go and visit for a day. One of my favourite stories about Caithness is about a chap called Robert Dick. He was a baker who moved here to the north of Scotland uh, with his father and he turned out to be one of the best botanists at the time. This is in the early 1800s. He discovered holy grass growing on the banks of Thurza River and that was the first place in the UK that it was found to be growing. I love his story because he would often walk on uh, the long daylight days to pick things. So he'd walk to the top of Morven, pick something and walk all the way home. I think that's incredible to think of the effort and passion that he had for that subject. And when you look at his history of what he was able to collect, and what he contributed to the area. I think it's, it's a wonderful story and uh, not something that a lot of people know about. We don't talk enough about the high quality of food and drink offerings that we have up here in Caithness. You've got places in Thurzo, Wick, John O'Groats and everywhere in between that offer something different and something that visitors can taste a bit of Caithness, try a bit of Caithness or experience a bit of the north of Scotland. We're really lucky to have that and it's a great asset for visitors.